Good afternoon, Mr. Abrahams. What, what can I do for you this afternoon? Uh, well, I've come along, Doctor, because um, uh, I've been uh, taking my, my uh, medication for some time and uh, I, I don't think it's working. I think maybe I should uh, I, I do the change. What, do you know what the medication's called or uh, what's it for? Uh, uh, yes, it's a, a colour fact. Right. And uh, I'm taking it for the irritable bowel sy uh, syndrome that I have. And um, it just doesn't seem to be working uh, lately. You know, I've been uh, having more regular motions and and uh, some stomach uh, pains. Okay. How how long have you been on the colifat for? Um, I've been taking it for uh, for about ten years or so. Well, I've had the irritable bowel uh, condition. Right. And uh, yeah, I've been taking it for a number of years, but I, I just think maybe you know it's time for a change. Right, and you mentioned that things have changed with your bowels. Is that in the last couple of weeks or months? How, how long has that uh, been? About the last three months or so. Right. Um, yeah. What sort of changes have you noticed with your bowels? Uh, just sort of uh, a bit, you know, a bit looser than they normally would be, and uh, I've been experiencing some, you know, some cramps. But then, you know, I'm busy and work, and I'm, you know, I'm sort of rushing about a bit, and you know, sometimes uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't have time to, you know, to think about it. Just try and get on. Have you had any other symptoms apart from the loose stools? Have you had, for example, any bleeding that you've noticed? Uh, there has been a couple of uh, sort of uh, occasions when I've I've seen some blood in the stool a little bit. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, but I, I I don't know. It's nothing concerning. I think uh, I've had some uh, problems with piles, so it could be could be related to that. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I know these might be slightly embarrassing questions, but the blood that you've noticed in your stool, is it actually when you wipe yourself, or is it actually mixed in with the stool? Uh, it's, it's mixed in with the stool right. a bit, a bit okay. like sort of mucusy, but I, I, you know, I think maybe this, you know, something, my diet or something, you know, I've been, I've been quite busy on a, on a job, which I should, uh, I should be there today. So I think, you know, maybe it's just time to change medication. You know? Okay. Well, certainly think about your medication, but if I could just sort of dig a little deeper and just sort of think a bit more about what's going on with your bowels. Yeah. What your weight, you mentioned you've been busy, are you eating well at the moment? Um, well I've been uh, skipping the occasional meal and uh, I've noticed, uh, come to mention, a little bit of weight loss. Uh, um, in fact I've, my wife reckons I've lost about a, a stone in, uh, in about the last three months or so. Right. Yeah, I've noticed it in my clothes, you know, my, yeah. my, kind of a couple of notches on my belt. Yeah. Okay. And would you, have you been eating the same or have you, have you changed your diet? Um, I've been eating the same, uh, trying to, but maybe skipping the, you know, the odd meal. With uh, I'm on a big project at the moment that's, uh, you know, sort of like we're on uh, dead, you know, deadline, uh, tight schedules. Okay. So uh, I really think, you know, I, I, I can, you know, I can manage, I can cope with it. It's just a matter of uh, maybe trying something new, you know, a new medication. Okay. And just talking about work, it sounds like work is very stressful at the moment for you. Well, well there's a recession. Bit... I'm a builder, you know. Right. A building, there's a recession and it's always like the building was first hit. So, um, you know, things have just got tighter with deadlines and, uh, you know, schedules and bonuses and getting the job done, basically, you know. So I've been trying, you know, I've been trying to um, to keep up, you know, my work performance, and I don't really want any more time off, you know. Even coming here today, you know, it's costing, you know, it's costing the job to be delayed. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Are there anything else stressing you out at the moment? Because we know that IBS is very stress related. Well, there's th three children. I've just uh, it's my second marriage, you know, in this uh, marriage relationship, and uh, there's three uh, stepchildren, you know, and they're all at school age and. That's quite a demand of time, you know, sort of like just, uh, you know, getting, getting, dealing with everyday, you know, everyday stuff with them. So the pressure for work even, even greater, I suppose, because uh, yes. of what's going on Yes, at home. and also yeah. like the financial, you know, I'm the sort okay. of uh, the bread, breadwinner, so to speak. And so, over the three months, you've probably had some ideas of what you think's going on. Can you sort of tell me, in, in your words, what you think's going well, on? Well, I just think maybe it's time, you know, to try something. Maybe uh, I've become a bit immune to, to the colour fire. Right. Maybe, you know, something a bit stronger or something, and another, you know, I mean, I was looking on the internet and there's lots of new uh, products out. And I, I don't know, you know, something maybe um, a bit stronger. Okay. Yeah. You've had the irritable bowel for 10 years, haven't you? Uh, yes, for ten, uh, 10 years since yeah. I was diagnosed as a clinic, yes. And so, do you remember, did they do a, a colonoscopy, which is a camera study, where they might have looked inside the bowel? Um, 
that's a long time ago. Yeah. I've, you know, I, I, I've just got on with things, okay. you know. I don't, I don't really worry about it, you know. But over the last ten years, would you say that some of the symptoms that you're now getting, like the weight loss and the bleeding, are those symptoms that you've had before? Uh, no, no. That's what makes me think, you know, maybe, you know, a, a change of medication would be a good thing. Do you think there may be any reason that we might need to look into this, say, further than just me give out a new prescription? I, I really don't think that's necessary, honestly. I think it's just, uh, you know, wasting time, basically. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing... Uh, what would you be investigating? Well, there are lots of reasons why people might have some of the symptoms that you're describing. An irritable bowel is certainly one of them, particularly in someone who's had a long history of irritable bowel. But yeah. just because things have changed, and I think whenever things have changed, as doctors, we always try and work out why things have changed. And it may be worth just doing some very simple investigations, in the first instance, like doing some blood tests, and maybe start to consider getting a second opinion from a doctor at the hospital of whether or not this needs to be looked at using a camera study, which you may well have had when this was first diagnosed. Uh, I, I think it rings about in recall, yeah. yes. I, I, I wasn't very, you know, I wasn't very comfortable. I'm, I'm, you know, I wouldn't want to really go through that again. I, I really see it as no more than, uh, you know, just a little episode, you know, a little maybe change in, in, in pattern or my work, you know, uh, uh, load has increased. And uh, it's something that could be uh, resolved with, with uh, medication. I think you may well be right, and I hope you are right, but I think it would be wrong for me to totally reassure you at this stage. I think what we need to do is I need to examine you and maybe also examine the back passage, do some blood tests. I can certainly, we can certainly give you another medication that's good for irritable bowel. Yes. And perhaps come and see me in a week's time. Okay, and how long is this all going to take? Because of, you know, I was saying I'm on a, a schedule for to um, to sort of a deadline to get this uh, this building project finished. Uh, I'm working on, and there's a lot of uh, people relying on me, you know, uh, uh, to to sort of like to to reach the deadline. I really understand all of that, but I suppose with all the pressures on you financially, all the more reason to preserve your health. And I suppose that's why you've come here today, yes. because. In some ways, you are concerned about your health. I understand, yes. Um, yes. I am, yes. And so, doing some investigations and, and perhaps considering seeing a doctor at the hospital um, would ensure that we are preserving your health so that you can continue to work and um, continue to be the breadwinner. I understand, yes. So, I'd come, I'd come in about a week's time, you could get me an appointment to. to, to well, see. what I'll do is I'll actually book the appointment for you. Okay. So, you don't have to. Um, mess around at reception. I can actually book that for you. Yes. But what I'd really like you to do in the in the, in, in the, the next week is actually try to get these blood tests done. Right. So I'll give you a form today to get some blood tests done and try this new medication. Yes. Um, and if everything's all right with the medication, do I, I don't need to, to go... Well, I think what we might do is just play it by ear, really. Just take each step step at a time. Okay. Um, okay. Even if the medication's okay, because of some of the symptoms that you've described mm -hmm. are slightly concerning but it, it may well be that we need to go ahead and refer you anyway but what I think I need to do as well is examine you because okay. you mentioned for example the bleeding may well be down to piles and so I need to have a look really okay. to see if, if piles are present yes yes okay then I'll, uh, I'll go does on. that sound yes, all right? yes. Uh, so some blood tests and then and then coming back and... Uh, Absolutely. So we'll get some blood tests done in the next week. I'll make you an appointment to come back and see me in a week's time. And I'll give you a prescription today yeah. for something new, different to... This was a tricky case. Um, this was a gentleman who came who had a few red flag symptoms relating to his bowels, but had really not considered um, in any way, despite doing some internet research, had sort of focused in that this was going to be irritable bowel and he just needed a new medication. I think the challenge was trying to get him to move from that standpoint that this was just his irritable bowel and it just needed a new medication to some further investigations may be needed because this may be a cancer-related diagnosis. I think the way in which I negotiated with Robert was by listening to him, by using very open questions at the beginning, listening to what was really important for him, and what was really important for him at, at, this, at this moment wasn't his symptoms or his medication, but actually was working and being the breadwinner for his family. 
I think I was then able to use that information and then relay it back to him that actually the two were connected. His health and his work are connected because he needs to be healthy to carry on working. I think what I also did was actually, although he felt his symptoms of bleeding and weight loss were very normal and he was putting them down to stress and piles, I then pushed him and asked him, although he'd had this condition for 10 years, had he ever had these symptoms before? And I think when he was able to reflect, actually in the moment, he realised himself there were some symptoms that were worrying, that weren't present for the last 10 years and that did need further investigation.